Hey everyone, my name is Sean V. Martin, and today I'm bringing you a world edit tutorial on schematics. We are on the MC Sandbox, which was the very first server me and my friends ever had, including my wife, my dad, and Mr. Vance Crafter. I've had the question asked of me several times already, how do I move something from one world to another? This is the very first Spleef Arena I ever built. It's called the Spleef Cube. It has five things on one side, SpongeBob on the other, and two Nintendo-themed objects on the other sides. And this was a world where nothing was world-edited, nothing was uh, easy to do. I couldn't summon die to myself, so I had to use uh, the items to actually craft it. It was pretty ridiculous. But today, we're going to take it, we're going to capture it in the wild, and we're going to move it over to the new Band of Builders server on the Five Things Let's Play world. Ugh, it's like a Inception craft. Now I'm going to select the entire structure. The World Edit GUI is going to make this a lot easier than it would be otherwise. The link for this is in the info. It's just like any mod, you just drop the files into your jar file. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it in the water or not. I guess I do. So, in that case, I'm actually going to copy the water. But, of course, if you are doing something where you're in the same situation, you're going to have to decide whether you want to copy part of an ocean along with something. Just be careful. Alright, I've got Spongebob's nose! Okay, there we go. The whole thing is selected. I made sure that I got this sign in here that has the date that I built it, which, oh my god! That seems so long ago. Now, like in the first schematic tutorial, where you're standing does have to do with the way it's going to be pasted. So, I'm going to stand here, right beside this sign, so that I remember where... Yep, that's a good place. Type slash slash copy, put it on the clipboard, then slash slash save, and your file name. I'm going to use spleef cube. There's now been a file created on my server that I need to get. Okay, so I'm here in my server folder. Here is the schematics folder, and inside there is now a folder called spleefcube.schematic. I'm going to take this file and I'm going to upload it to the schematics folder on Stevie and my server online. This works the same way from a server to a single player game. You just click, drag, and drop into the schematics folder of wherever you want it to be. If it's someone else's server, it cannot be the schematics folder on your hard drive. It has to be the schematics folder on their server. That's the way it works. And that's all we need this world for, but don't worry, I think we'll come back and do a little tour with some of the original builders. Well, I wanted to place it in FTLP, but I think I might have just discovered that that entire world is corrupted. <laughs> Oh, that was scary. <laughs> but anyway, the server is running again now, and uh, nothing to nothing to worry about. And uh, I am ready to place it. I since I can't place it on FTLP, I'm going to put it on the main world. That's uh, some of Lilin's buildings over there. And I, I hope he doesn't mind if I if I stick a big cube over here. I think I'm pretty far away. So I'm going to load my spleef cube. It is now in my on my clipboard. And I'm going to hit paste. Oh, I was facing the wrong way. Okay, knowing what I now know, I rotated it so that it should be facing the way I actually want it to face. And now I paste it. Is it at the correct height? I think so. Looks like I need to do some fix water. Fix water! I can type fix water. Okay, I can see that I have a few land things I want to take care of, but that's it. It's here. When you use schematics on a server, it will correctly uh, copy things like signs or things in chess, that kind of stuff. If you're going to copy something from a single player world to a server, you can do that. But when you copy it from the single player world, it's not going to copy those things. I'm not sure why that is, but that's the way that it works. All right, now I just need to get some friends and we can play Spleef. Whee! That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please check out the other parts of my world edit tutorials. I also have a command book, and I would love if you would let me know what other tutorials you're interested in, besides permissions. It scares me. I don't like it. Pick something easier. Thanks, guys. See you next time.
okay, now I'm on the Band of Builders server on the FTLP world, and I'm gonna head over here to a large body of water where I know that I can place the Spleef Arena.